Hi guys, I'm Piotr, founder of Randro, and allow me to show you today how to use some of the additional functionalities of Randro drives. Let's go to the Drives tab, and now let's click on the Browse button to browse the drive. You prob have probably found that you can upload your files like this to your Randro drives. If you take a closer look at Randro, you will probably notice that there is a another way to use render drives by using external software. To do that, click here. For this tutorial, I will be using CyberDAC. To establish connection to your render drive with CyberDAC, check if you are using S3 protocol, check if the port number is right, then copy the server details into the server window, then copy key access ID and paste it into the corresponding window in CyberDAC and use a secret access key as your password to establish the connection. So let me paste that. Yep. Then let's click a connect button. Oh, yep. And then let's wait a couple of seconds till the connection is getting established. Oh, and now it is. So as you can see, uh, let me open it. It's listing directories. Give it a couple. Yeah, and as you can see, there is this file that I uploaded just uh, a few seconds before. And right now, let's add the next file from my drive uh, on my personal computer. As you can see, the connection is getting established. And in a couple of seconds, the upload will start. I will speed up the time to have this file finished and I will show you the next steps. So, as you can see, our upload is complete, and let's check what, ha what has happened on our render drive. So, uh, let me refresh the browser. And as you can see, the file was uploaded. And right now, if you will use your workstation and access this render drive from your wor workstation, the files will be there. So. That's all that I wanted to show you uh, right now. I'm Piotr, I'm founder of Rendro, and I hope that you are enjoying our solution. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me at support at Thanks, guys.